This video brought to you by Loot Crate. Get awesome goodies from geek culture and 10% off your first order with coupon code CONFLICT. Check the link in the description for more info. Hello and welcome back to Cities Skylines. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are back in Emerald County, but we are not here for building. No, no, no. Today, we are going to be taking a look at a mod. A mod that lets you drive vehicles inside city skylines on the roads of your city you can drive you can build something then get down to street level and explore as though you were a civilian that's pretty cool so let's go ahead and find a suitable vehicle there's quite a few in here plenty to choose from i'm gonna go for Let's see, that one looks kind of nice. I think I'm going to go for the police car, though. We'll go for this, and then we'll just click this button, drive this vehicle, and as you can see, I'm not driving, which is kind of awesome, especially since everything else is still paused. going to be very careful here and just sort of navigate like so. That said, it doesn't look like I've got collision switched on, so we're fine. I can just cruise around in me van and go crazy. Now, you might be asking yourself, you might, you might be looking at this and you might be going, hold on a minute. That's all well and good, but I don't want to play this if it's going to look like Grand Theft Auto and Grand Theft Auto 2. And by Grand Theft Auto, I, of course, meant the first one, which was a top-down view. Now, this isn't quite top-down, but what is even less top-down is this, which is, uh, it's sort of clipping through the vehicle, which is definitely and admittedly a little bit strange, but you can totally fix that. And we're gonna, we're gonna go to the options... And in the mod settings, which is just here, you can change the cameras. So, I'm going to zoom out a little bit with the camera, just like so. And you can, of course, move the camera like so. I'm going to put it right down behind the, the uh, van. And there you go. So we can cruise like so. Now, this isn't the greatest camera angle of... Is, is that a pizza? That is a pizza van. This isn't the best camera angle because we do need to be able to see over the, uh, over the vehicle. So we'll go for about there. And as you can see... We're cruising in a police car. So I decided to swap my police car for a taxi, and I've also decided that we're gonna hit one and let the traffic move again. So we have to uh, we have to deal with traffic going around here. Now, like I said, I'm not actually colliding with anything, so it's not much of a big deal. But this is, how cool is this? I've spent a long time building Emerald County. It's nowhere near done and it's not perfect, but I built it, you know? It's a thing that I made and I can cruise around it like this and that is awesome that is the coolest thing and i'm so happy that this mod exists because it's just the coolest coolest thing now if i'm not mistaken this highway here i'm pretty sure takes us right into the city it does now the city's having a bit of a death wave you're gonna have to forgive that but the benefit of not colliding with traffic also means i can go through here and along this lane and i can take a left here and go straight into the city, which is the look at look at the leaning on that van. That's insane. Oh, that's amazing. I love this. And then this is the big sweeping road that swings around and looks awesome. Oh my god, this is the kind of thing I've wanted in in games for so long. SimCity Four sort of did this. SimCity Four would let you drive vehicles and have missions and stuff like that and this i just i need that in city skylines i need to be able to like do little taxi jobs or something in my city how cool would that be it really would it'd be absolutely awesome now there is some sad news with this mod and that is wait did i really <laughs> okay i'm colliding with you i think the author of this mod is done with it I don't think he's interested in continuing it any further, which makes... What the... Okay, a bunch of green t-shirts there. Which makes me incredibly sad. And I say that because I saw a comment on the mod page on the Steam Workshop that was from the author saying he's unlikely to continue it. And he's going to do other things. And that makes me sad because I want this to be continued. I want, like... I, I want more things I can do with this. Because it's just amazing and I love it. And it's something you should absolutely check out and download and have fun with because it is well and truly a very very fun mod and i would highly recommend it now with that all said and done i'm curious to see what happens if i click on you and drive you so let's uh let's oh boy oh boy oh boy <laughs> uh, <laughs> um 
I think I'm driving a ship. <laughs> I am driving a ship. Uh, the ship doesn't. Uh, the water physics aren't a thing, so the ship is currently. Um, yeah. Okay. Now this is this. Is <laughs> Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Let's zoom the camera out a bit. That's not what I wanted. Uh, this one. I would like to, um, see if I can just move my camera. Now, this is being, ah, there we go. Now, that just zooms it in. Ooh, hold on a minute. So, I might need to go for the, the zoomed out camera here. So, we'll go. That's first person. That's zoomed out. Can I zoom out further? Is, is not my question. Uh, I don't, I don't think, oh, I can, sort of. So, uh, <laughs> I don't think it was supposed to do this. Now, let's just get out of that and, uh, yeah, good. The ship didn't stay there. That's kind of fortunate. Are there any smaller boats around the place? Because if there are, I'd like to control- Uh, no, that's a pl Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. What happens- We have an airport, right? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. What if I click on you and do this? Can I fly? Uh, I'm gonna say no, but- this is <laughs> This is so silly. Oh, I love it. I really do. This is this mod is just so cool. It really is. There's a few other things I need to see if I can drive. Hold on. Where I need a train. There's a train. All right. This is a little modded train as well. Can I drive you? Oh, yes, I can. Look at this. Look at this madness. I want to drive that bit though. There we go. Look at me. I'm a train. How cool is this? This, like I said, this mod, I highly recommend. If you just want to have fun and mess around and do silly things in your cities, like drive a train on the streets like I'm about to do, you can totally do it. If you want to drive all those custom vehicles that you've been downloading, what am I doing? I'm not doing this. This isn't me. Hold on, I want to go that way. Right, I'm not moving. I think I'm good. All right, we're good. We're good. That was weird. That was super weird. But look at I'm driving a train on the streets. Now here's a real question: Are there fire trucks gonna show up to uh, that burning building? Because where is that burning building? I seem to have misplaced that burning building. It looked like it was. Oh, that no. Where did what? There it is. All right, fire trucks. Because I'd really like to drive a fire truck. Hold up. Hold up. No, not one in there. It is. You there. We're gonna drive you. It's like, it is just like SimCity 4. It really is. And I love that fact. Like, I can pull up to the fire here and be like, you know, sell down, citizens. Everything is okay. Fear not, for I have arrived. You can also enable the, um, the headlights and vehicles. You can't really see them because it's not dark. So what I'll do is I'll go to here and I'll go to gameplay. And I shall enable the day and night cycle, like so. And now that it's dark, which is a view of Emerald City and County that you may never have seen before, but uh, you're seeing it in a very unique perspective. And I should say, I tested this mod in my vanilla Let's Play City. I didn't test it in Emerald City or Emerald County, I should say. I didn't, I didn't test it here. This is cool though. This is so cool. I should be able to turn the lights of this car on, but it doesn't seem like it's working, which is slightly disappointing. But that's all right. That's no big deal. Oh, oh, I've clicked on my game. Hold. <laughs> there we go. Let's just click off. Oh, I've clicked on my game again. Good. This is going well. Let's, uh, I can't see. Oh, there we go. All right, let's go. Let's go cruising. Let's, oh, no, 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 no. Give me that. There we go. This is more me. It's even orange. Oh, this is perfect. Right, I want to go. I've, right, I've never... <laughs> I don't know where these roads go. Uh, we need to get to... We could go to the prison. But I want to go to Applesby. That's where I want to go. So we're going to head to Applesby. And we're going to see what's over that way on our little scooter. Which is faster than the rest of the traffic on this, uh, on this highway. Well, this isn't technically the highway. But it's faster than everything else here. Which is kind of awesome. So, I think I need to go this way. I think. I might be wrong. But <laughs> oh, go! Almost fell off the highway there. That was a little bit close. But this this view, though, like, it's... 
Oh my god, I just realized we're gonna come up to one of the really glowy bridges and that's gonna look amazing. Look at this! It's beautiful! It's absolutely beautiful and I love it. And I'm pretty sure there is a, uh, is that a DeLorean? That wasn't a DeLorean, that's not a DeLorean. Uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, there is a first person mode. Now this is weird. I mean, this, to be fair, this I've done before. Not with this mod, but with the, the camera mods and stuff. You can, oh wow, look at that. Well, do we have lights? I don't, I don't think, no, I don't have lights. My lights aren't working for some reason. That's very strange, but that's fine. Uh, I'm pretty sure that somewhere up here, I need to turn left. I'm also going to make it daytime because it really doesn't need to be nighttime. Let's make it kind of daytime there. And I'm pretty sure somewhere up here, I need to go to the left. And Applesby is sort of that way. Like, what's, what's, oh, where am I going? <laughs> where am I going? Because I, I literally don't know. I don't think this is a road that I bit. No, this actually is totally, wait, what? Whoa. What is this? Right, that goes no. I feel like I took a wrong turn. Hold on! Alright, I'm on the road again. I've got my Toyota, my Toyota Camry, I think, is the name of this. And this is how we get to... Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. This is how we get to Applesby, if I'm not mistaken. I do believe it is behind that mountain on the left. I'm pretty sure the military base is back there as well. But the important thing is that along this road, eventually... I'm pretty sure I can make my car faster. Hold on. I'm pretty sure somewhere along this road, though, is the turnoff for Applesby. Now, let's do this. And, uh, let's just make my car a bit faster. Which, uh... Oh, yeah. No, that's better. I think. I think it's faster. I think. I think, yeah, I'm catching the other traffic. So my, my car is not faster. Which is kind of what we wanted, so... I can get behind this. It's not, it's not... I mean, it is, it is really fast. But it's not horrendously fast. It's still totally controllable. Which is what we wanted. Uh, now, if I'm not mistaken, this is the turnoff for Applesby, right? I think. I think this is the turnoff for Applesby. Almost certain it is. Then Core, Core Industrial should be on my right, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, somewhere up here. Yeah, that's... No, that's not the turnoff. Wait. Where is Core Industrial? It's over there. What is that? What? What? No. Is it? Yeah. Oh my god, it's the construction site! I forgot about this! Oh, I totally forgot about this! It looks amazing! It looks amazing! For I'm so happy with that! And then here we are! Applesby! Good old Applesby that I'm just gonna speed through! I love this mod. It just gives you such a cool perspective on... on what you build. And that's- that's- that's cool! Like, I like having new perspectives on the stuff I build in City Skyline. Just in games in general. It's like... It's kind of like spending, you know, a couple of days building something really, really awesome in Minecraft using creative mode. And you're just flying around all the time, and you haven't really taken time to sit down in the ground and look up at it. And you just, you know, you spend a few days building this awesome cathedral or giant train station or castle or whatever it is. And then you land on the ground, turn around and look up at this grand thing you've built. And everything just looks bigger and sort of better from below in a way. Like, this just gives you a sense of scale of City Skylines that I've never really had before. Because I've never... I, I've used the first person mods. Don't get me wrong. But there's just something so cool about driving. I mean, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. So, what I'm doing here hasn't... You know, it's not necessarily a completely unique thing. If I hit F2 to come out of the driving mode, I can hit Tab. And this is a first person mod that lets you walk around. Except in this case, instead of using the arrow keys, I'm using WASD. And it does this very, very similar thing. Arguably, you could say that this has a better FOV and all that stuff, and I think I'd maybe agree with you. But, it doesn't let me pick any vehicle I want and drive it. And that's the important part. It's that inner child, man. That's all it is. It's just that inner child that goes, you know what? This is cool, but I kind of want to drive a tractor. And then you drive a tractor. Very fast, but you're driving a tractor. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave it there for today. I was recommended this mod on Twitter. I honestly cannot remember who recommended it. I immediately clicked the tweet and went and downloaded this. And then a couple of days later, here I am playing it. So it's a lot of fun. I would recommend it. It's going to be linked in the, in the description below. And uh, with that, thank you kind of for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh,